Putting God first in everything is not always easy, but it's essential for our spiritual growth. When we put God first, we acknowledge His sovereignty over our lives and invite His presence into every aspect of our being. It's a way of saying that we trust Him to guide us and direct our paths putting God first is a principle that has the potential to impact our decisions, behaviors, and eventually, our futures. I remember a few years ago, I was approaching a crossroads in my life. I had to make a crucial career decision, and I was divided between two enticing prospects. It was in that moment of uncertainty that I discovered the necessity of putting God first. I sought His guidance through prayer and scripture, and the route became apparent. It was a key event that underlined the value of pursuing my connection with God in every part of life. My life became more meaningful, and I experienced a sense of peace that I had never felt before. God first doesn't mean that we have to give up everything else in our lives. It means that we prioritize our relationship with Him above all else. For example, if you're a student, putting God first means that you seek His guidance in your studies and make time for prayer and Bible study. If you're a parent, putting God first means that you teach your children about His love and make time for family devotionals. But why should we put God first? Well, here are a few compelling reasons. Divine Guidance when we prioritize God, we invite His guidance into our life. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 states, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways recognize Him, and He shall direct thy paths. God's wisdom transcends our own, and by seeking His help, we make wiser decisions. Peace amidst chaos, life can be hectic, when we put God first, we find a sense of serenity that transcends circumstances. Philippians 4 verse 7 tells us, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Blessings overflow, Matthew 6 verse 33 teaches us, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Putting God first doesn't imply ignoring our responsibilities, it is faith that God will provide and bless our efforts abundantly. Here are some practical tips for putting God first in everything. 1. Start your day with prayer. Begin each day by spending time with God in prayer. This will help you focus on Him and set the tone for the rest of your day. 2. Read the Bible daily, make it a habit to read the Bible every day. This will help you grow in your knowledge of God and deepen your relationship. 3. Seek God's will. Before making big decisions, seek God's will via prayer and reflection. Consult mentors and reliable spiritual counselors if needed. 4. Integrate faith into your work. Regardless of your job, find methods to integrate your faith into your work. Be a constructive influence and a living example of God's love. 5. Attend church regularly. Attend church regularly to worship God and fellowship with other believers. 6. Serve others. Look for opportunities to serve others in your community. This is a practical way to show God's love to others. 7. Tithe regularly. Give back to God by tithing regularly. This is an act of obedience that demonstrates your trust in Him. 8. Stay accountable. Find an accountability partner who can help you stay on track in your walk with God. 9. Prac cultivate an attitude of thankfulness. Acknowledge and praise God for His blessings daily. This promotes a grateful heart. Putting God first in everything is essential for our spiritual growth and well-being. It's a way of acknowledging His sovereignty over our lives and inviting His presence into every aspect of our being. I encourage you to take the first step today. Begin by allocating time each day to connect with God via prayer, scripture, and worship. Watch how your life transforms as you put God at the heart of it all. By following these practical tips, you can prioritize your relationship with God and experience the peace and joy that come from walking.